Alright, what's up guys? I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media back with another Dokkan Battle video. And today, we are going to be showcasing the brand new LR Super Saiyan Blue Kaioken Goku and Super Saiyan Blue Evolution Vegeta at Rainbow Status, of course, on the JP side of the game first. Now, I'll be honest man, I am super super stoked for this showcase, super excited to test these guys out because on paper, like when I was looking at the details this morning, I was like, this might be the new best unit in the entire game. And I know that term gets thrown around a lot, right? Like people tend to give the title to new units, especially new LRs pretty quickly. And I've definitely been guilty of that in the past, but truthfully, man, I do think that this unit has a pretty good chance or has a good case for at least top three in the game, maybe top five at the lowest, but in the conversation with the best units in the game, like Vegito Blue, Blue Gogeta, and uh, LRUI Goku, and so on and so forth, right? So in today's video, through this showcase, we're gonna find out whether or not this, this unit actually deserves that best unit title. So without further ado, let's jump right in. Oh, you know, actually before we get into the gameplay, there is one thing I wanna quickly address, and it has nothing to do with the actual performance of the unit, but the art kind of bothers me, all right? The art overall looks pretty good. Like the aura and everything gives you the illusion that it's a good looking hard art. But if you look closely at the actual renders for Goku and Vegeta, I don't know if it's just me. I don't know if it's just my eyes, like maybe I'm tired right now, but they look less quality, like a little bit lower res than your average Dokkan art, like not as HD, I guess. I mean, no, nobody expects HD art from Dokkan. That's always been kind of the thing, right? Like the low res art, but even for Dokkan standards, I feel like this could have been better, especially for a Dokkan Fest LR in 2020. I don't know, maybe it's just me. Maybe I'm crazy. Let me know in the comments down below if you guys see the same thing or um, if I am being crazy, let me know. Okay, anyways, without further ado, let's uh, get this showcase started. And we're starting with a pretty good good rotation here. We got the LR linked with the STR Super Saiyan Blue Kaioken Goku. And you can say whatever you want about SSBKK here, but he has an amazing link set, especially for um, some of these you know recent LRs. So they're linked, they're sharing a ton of attack links here. And uh, we also got the support from the Gohan. And you know what, we only can give them five key spheres it seems, but at least three of them are rainbow, which is good enough to get them the 18 key super. There we go. And uh, also three additional attacks. So we might be able to finish off the base Goku here, we'll see. But for anybody that is wondering why I want to give them rainbow key spheres, let me read the passive real quick, alright? So it's attack and defense plus 70%. And then, oh damn, okay, an additional attack and defense plus 7% per key sphere obtained. So obviously, they're a bit of a nuker, and you want to give them as many key spheres as possible to give them as much attack and defense as possible. And on top of that, for every rainbow key sphere they get, they get an additional attack and defense, sorry, no, no, uh, additional crit chance plus 7%, and also key plus 2, and performs an additional attack up to three times in a turn. So that's why you want to give them as many rainbow key spheres as possible. And that's why, even though it seems a little bit random, we got Goku Black. Our easy A Goku Black on the team. He's literally just here to give me more rainbow key spheres. And he's doing a pretty good job here so far. All right, so um, yeah, first turn, I didn't really address it because I was talking about the, the passive, but we got about 4.3 million for the attack, and considering we only got five key spheres, that's not bad. All right, that that that's pretty good in my opinion. And then we got the additional attacks. It would have been three, but we only got two because uh, Goku died, so that's not really our fault there. But this turn should be a little bit better. We do have more spheres to offer, and defensively, we're looking at 129,000 defense before we get any key spheres. And the most we can give him here is what? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Um, that's 3 rainbow. That's 3 rainbow as well. So we're going to go over here for 8. Right? 
8 key spheres, that 24 key super. There we go, full 24 key, 164,000 defense this time. And we'll just give a few key spheres here, it doesn't really matter. I'm saying close to 5 mil. 5.2. Okay, we are right. 5.2 mil now. All right, that's good. That's good. And we're critting for 4.5 mil. I mean, of course, with the additional 21% crit chance, we're definitely going to see this guy crit a lot more than your average unit. I mean, they also have 15, level 15 uh, crit chance, right? In the hidden potential system. So it's actually 30% there. So 30% plus the 21, 28, 35% we're getting from the passive uh, means that they're pretty much going to be, I'm going to say critting at least on average like half the time. And they take into, into consideration the additional attacks and all that stuff and uh, they should be doing a lot of damage like on average. I haven't really seen the calculations, I'll be honest. I'm not really a huge like, you know, math guy <laughs> to be completely honest. Um, I was never like a huge math whiz in school or anything like that. I know some people are going to make comments. All right, say what you will. It was just not my subject. I was good at math, actually. Like, I did well in math, but I never liked it. So once I stopped having to take math, I just stopped completely. And in my, like, last couple of years of, uh, you know, university or college, uh, I tried to take as few math courses as possible. And that was mainly just because I didn't like it. So anyways, the whole point I was trying to make is that I'm not really like super, super deep into the calculations. I just prefer to like use the units, you know, in the game and make my decision from there. All right, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven orbs here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven here as well. Uh, looks like it's all the same actually. One, two, three, four, five, six. So we're gonna go with uh, these seven. One, two, three, four, yeah, seven here. No support this time. Uh, we're looking at a 20 key super right there, and <laughs> I know people are somehow going to use that math talk against me um, to say like, yo, you know, you know, you know nothing about the game, or like, you should pay attention to the numbers, and like, I know I should, I know I should pay attention to certain calculations, but there's also something to be said about just like, actually seeing how the unit performing game, right? Like you can talk about theoretics, theoretics, theoretical calculations and theoretical numbers as much as you want, but at the end of the day, you're still just using these units in game, right? And like, that's how I prefer to judge units. That's just me, all right? Um, so there we go, yeah. So, so far the damage from Goku and Vegeta has been pretty impressive, it's been pretty good. Uh, if I'm being honest, maybe my expectations going in were a little bit too high because I actually thought that they would hit maybe a bit harder than what we've, what we've seen so far. Now what we've seen so far isn't bad at all, don't get me wrong, right? But I just thought like that like on average they would do a little bit more. I thought they would be a little bit more busted. I was expecting, I don't know, I don't know what I was expecting, maybe like 6 mil on average, but so far we're, we're, we're hovering around 5, which I'll be honest, man, it's really, really good, but I think I've just been spoiled recently with, like, the super crazy numbers we've been getting from these all, all these new units and uh, new LRs, and maybe my just overall um, uh, well, well, standard, right? My overall standard for what a good unit or a broken unit should be is a little bit out of whack, so... It's still good. The, 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 what I'm trying to say, it's still good. Like, 5 million is nothing to scoff at. It's nothing to be unimpressed by. But maybe I thought it could have been more. Now, with all that said, this should be a really, really crazy turn because we got the active skill. I already got the active skill available. Um, what this active skill does is you get 24 key, so a full 24 key super as well as 70% additional attack, guys. 70% additional attack. So I'm gonna pop this here, enjoy the animation. Um, one thing that does happen is you lose 50% defense, which is quite unfortunate. So it could be kind of dangerous, especially because we're on the first um, slot with like a bunch of attacks. So we, we're gonna get hit pretty hard here. But as, as long as we don't die, right? As long as we don't get killed, we should be able to nuke Goku here and absolutely annihilate him. 70% is outrageous, guys. I don't know if you like, 
just just realize how crazy that is because tech broly gets 48 percent and he already hits like a freight train what is this gonna do we'll find out we'll find out right now okay so one two three four five six seven eight orbs i think that's the most we can give him which is good all right that's like pretty much what you can expect on a normal run anyways um defensively we're looking at 80,000, which is not terrible all right it's only slightly lower than super saiyan blue kaken right now and uh 1.25 million attack oh my god it's gonna be fun it's gonna be fun okay let's just enjoy this let's just enjoy this i'm gonna stop talking and uh just pay attention to what's going on here here we go oh god we're getting supered oh my god Okay, that's 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 okay. That's okay. Still taking normal attacks for double digits. Now this attack stat is eight point seven mil. Okay. All right. All right. I thought it would be higher. I thought it would be higher. Are my expectations just like too high? You know, like. I thought it was gonna be over 10 million. Maybe they just needed more key spheres or something. But uh, yeah, I, I thought it'd be high. I I don't know. You, you guys tell me. Like, am I am I just too spoiled these days? You know what I mean? Because we 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 have been seeing like 10 million plus from like some of these recent units, right? So. I, I do think that like my expectations are just a little bit out of whack and I shouldn't be talking like this for 8.7 mil you know what I mean like I really should not but I did think I, I, I gotta give you guys my, my honest opinion right like I'm not gonna sit here and pretend to feel something if I don't feel it and I was not overly like blown away considering how much attack boost the LR is supposed to get, or not supposed, it did get the 70% attack and a full 24 key super. And even though we didn't give them the most key spheres, we still gave them eight, right? Still gave them eight, which is is like pretty good for just doing a normal run. We're not changing orbs, right? You're not like using any orb changing items or anything like that. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe it's late. Maybe I need to think about it a little bit more. Hmm. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight key spheres there. And we're getting a full 24k super again. Um, 164,000 defense, that's quite good. And I'm, I'm guessing it's going to be around, you know, 5 million or so again. Which, again, is not bad at all, right? Yeah, 5.2 mil. Yeah, look, they hit hard. They hit hard, especially with uh, the additional normal attacks taken into consideration. Those normal attacks are going to be over a million as well each. And they're gonna be critting a ton too, as you can see, man. All these additional attacks. Okay, that one didn't, but the last one did, and this one did as well. So we're getting a lot of uh, a crits as well with the additionals. So even though it's not as good, obviously, as getting additional supers, they're still gonna be adding a good amount of damage to their overall damage output. Um, I, th I think the main thing that threw me off was like, I thought it would be more damage for the active skill considering we also lost 50 percent defense and on certain events like i mean we weren't really really that deep into this event yet so it was okay but like let's say we were on the mui goku stage and we got supered that could still kill us right hmm yeah i i i feel still very much like it's a amazing unit right don't get me wrong there but maybe not the best unit, right? Maybe not quite. Okay, I, th I think this is the issue, actually. I think the issue is that I came in expecting them to be, you know, the... What is happening? What am I doing? I came in expecting them to be, like, the best unit in the game. And I don't think I'm quite seeing that here. You know, I don't think they're quite as good as Vegito Blue and Gogeta. Yeah, like that active skill is good. Like it, it's it's amazing how much more attack they get, but still, like it's only one time, and 
they lose 50% defense that turn. So it's 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 a risk you're taking sometimes. <sighs> I need some more processing, man. I need some more processing. I think my current impression is that they're not the best unit in the game. Maybe you guys feel differently. Maybe other YouTubers are saying different things, but obviously I don't base my opinions off of what other YouTubers are saying. So it's not really a huge deal if I disagree with somebody. Like it, it, it's not personal. It's just how I feel. And I don't know what other people are saying, but I think that they're definitely in the top five, but not the best. All right, not the best. Okay, we're getting super here. Can we can we tank this well? 175k. All right, all right. I mean. It's it's decent, it's decent, but that's that, that was a lot of damage actually. That, that was that was quite a bit of damage. <laughs> All right, guys. So I think we're gonna do one more turn with them. Um, sadly, we can't. Oh, actually, would we even survive this turn? We're gonna take a few hits here on SPKK. Fifty-one K. Yeah, I don't know. We do make it, we do make it. So we're gonna do one more attack after this turn. So we're gonna come back for one more rotation and I think that's gonna be it. Um, I, I, <laughs> I, I think that like my whole impression of this showcase was colored by the fact that, you know, I, I came in suspecting so much and I think that's a dangerous thing. Like I should not have done that by any means. So that's actually my fault. Just coming in expecting them to be the best unit like just outrageously broken and it didn't really work out that way but still very 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 good one of the best units in the game that is guaranteed that is for sure like these numbers are still insane and not not many units in the game like very few units in the game can reach anything close to this but yeah, I messed myself up like that. I, I, I came in with too many expectations. So anyways, <laughs> that is, this is the last rotation of the showcase. That's all we're gonna do. Um, oh crap, Ashley. I'm right. Ooh, that's a lot of attacks at the beginning. Um, so I'll give them a couple orbs here. I don't wanna die though to like end the showcase, you know what I mean? So why don't we pop the Icarus? Help, help help him out a little bit because it is UI Goku at the end of the day like with type disadvantage too If we get super that's not, oh, okay. Yeah, we get super immediately Immediately and we're dead. So yeah guys that is my showcase Didn't exactly end the way I was hoping it would I'll be honest but uh, that being said I Still am very impressed by them just not as impressed as if I had come in blind. Like, let's say, you know, I hadn't read the details and hadn't, like, set myself up to be like, yo, this is going to be the best unit. I would have been a lot more impressed, but I'm still impressed. I think I want you guys to leave with the impression that, like, they're still an amazing unit and they're still definitely worth going after. Like, I'm going to still probably wail out for them once they drop on global, but... Um, I don't think, like, my current impression is they're not the best unit in the game. I still think that Vegito Blue and Blue Gogeta are above, um, maybe on the same level as UI, but I don't, I think the fusions are still in the one and two spots, but that's just me. Let me know in the comments down below how you guys feel about the unit overall, how you guys felt about that showcase, and also, as I said in the beginning, how do you feel about the art? Alright, that's important too. I feel like the art could have been better that's just me though all right guys that's the video thank you very much thank you very much game and talk now it's late thank you very much for watching um hope you guys had fun watching this video as always if you like the video then make sure to like the damn video and if it's your first time watching me first time to the channel and you like what you see then definitely hit that big red subscribe button to join the tiger squad now and while you're at it um what i normally say while you're at it, hit that notification bell too. Hit that notification bell too, so that YouTube knows you want to stay up to date with all my latest content. And that's it. I'm out of here. Until next time, hope you guys have a fantastic, fantastic day. 
I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media, signing out.